everybody, welcome to today's uh, new episode of uh, the latest uh, roundup of uh, the best news, tips and strategies in the mobile marketing for small businesses. Okay, um, for our first uh, topic we go to Zeus Marketing. Um, they talk about how mobile marketing can reinvent direct mail. Now, direct mail can be effective, but for most small businesses it's too expensive. But maybe is that something that could change with mobile technology is the question. Mobile marketing uh, presents such a, a unique and distinct set of opportunities that it's easy to forget how seamlessly mobile marketing promotions can integrate with small business existing marketing efforts. Now according to Gary Reblin, Vice President of Domestic Products at USPS, personalization has always been an effective attribute of direct mail and studies show that it improves return on investment. Tying personalization with mobile technology is the next obvious step to enhancing the value of both mail and mobile marketing. Now for example, uh, QR codes on any mailing you send out as a small business owner can unlock a customizable multimedia marketing experience that printed info simply can't match. So, in other words, it's more than just a way to make direct mail seem new and exciting again. It's a great way to make your small business seem new and exciting too. So, if you haven't done so, try it out and see what happens. And maybe uh, share your results here with uh, us to help other small business owners too. Okay, um, for our next uh, topic, uh, we go to Search Engine Roundtable. Now, um, Google Plus... Uh, local is to replace or is to replace has replaced really Google places uh, the reason why I touch on to this uh, subject is because um, it's it's something that obviously is, is an important part of mobile marketing um, so that's why really I wanted to just to quickly um, go to go to this uh, article as well um, because small business owners should have really a Google Places listing and if you have not already done so you really should be getting one today because it's the first step to get your small business mobile and because people can find your business uh, when you search on the go on the mobile um, now Google Places is now integrated with the social media site Google Plus which is known as Google Plus local so if you have a Google Places result listing, uh, you can continue to manage that uh, listing result in Google Places um, at Google Places itself. Although it seems like that it will change over time and more and more features will be tied to the Google Plus experience. Um, now, on this particular um, uh, web page on Search Engine Roundtable, uh, there's a lot of more useful info uh, I just wanted to share with you because um, it's for those small business owners who would like to know more about uh, Google Plus Local and maybe if you haven't done so how to implement it for your small business. Okay for our next uh, topic uh, we go to um, Business Insider Today. Um, experts reveal the seven biggest mobile mis marketing mistakes that you can make. Um, according to recent statistics, money is pouring into mobile advertising. To be precise, $5.3 billion last year, but much of it seems to be wasted as advertisers seem to be making a lot of dumb mistakes. Um, so I would just like to share with you the seven biggest mobile marketing mistakes business owners make. Some from the more hilarious and some to the, more, uh, to the less obvious. Um, now the first one um, it's where uh, business owners seem to be putting a QR code on the ground or in any location where the user has no wireless access um, as you can see it's on the other side of uh, the rail so obviously um, people are not going to be able to scan that in um, and the other thing is obviously generally speaking if you're in the subway uh, people won't have a, a wireless access anyway um, secondly um, Mobile ads seem to appear, um, of, no, sorry, mobile ads or apps, they only seem to be doing one thing. It tends to send users to the regular site. Now, um, 
generally people like to discover new content within the mobile environment so so really um, just sending it to a regular website uh, could be very disappointing for your customers um, the third mistake is often that um, business owners failing to use check-in discounts and coupons um, and thus encouraging showrooming in, in the store um, again um, you're able to prevent showroom by offering discount prices uh, if users checks in at your local uh, store location to activate the offer and um, so just something really to think about uh, before you do that as a business owner and um, the next one running a mobile campaign without a mobile optimized website um, so obviously it would be very useful if you have an, a mobile ad running and people click on the link and basically they can't see your content because the website is not optimized to be shown properly on the mobile device uh, because a normal website will show okay on a, on a PC but they generally speaking do not uh, show uh, well or show at all on mobile devices uh, the next one is that small business owners making their banner ads extremely ugly um, a lot of them seem to be crude ugly and some advertisers uh, should be really embarrassed um, Ernie Cornier the CEO of, of Nexus say as the creative quality of some campaigns they're running are extremely poor and um, so goes to say when you do start spending money on mobile advertising uh, make sure you obviously uh, put some effort and maybe get it created by somebody who knows what the EOC is doing um, the next one is um, not making your campaign social local and mobile now it's something we touched uh, upon in our previous episodes is something known as solo mo um, it's really important to combine uh, the social media local search and mobile marketing aspects um, so again something you need to really look into of business owners are advised to look into how those three work together before you uh, start putting your campaign out um, now the other thing is uh, the latest one uh, I want to share mistake number seven is buying mobile ad media uh, before you even approve the creative uh, so obviously I mean I presume most people of most business owners out there would do that but uh, really important uh, before you get the creative to go out make sure uh, you approve of it it's, it's what you want okay so um, just want to share those seven uh, mistakes uh, and the biggest mistakes that uh, small business owners make when they start a mobile marketing campaign um, this is to the end of this episode today as well um, the same as usual I, I will share all the uh, links to the resources um, discussed in today's episodes uh, below the video in the description Please be so kind uh, just to help us um, and small business owners, please like this video. Um, you could also share this video. And uh, the other thing I would love you to do is to leave a comment um, as I will personally see to it that I respond to all comments uh, you leave below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, latest uh, episode today. Um, if you have any further questions or you need help with your mobile marketing for your small business, please visit inofamarketing.co.uk uh, This brings us to the end of uh, this latest installment. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you soon on uh, the next um, episode. Thank you. Bye.